You see this cat right here? That's me. I'm Matilda. I got adopted by Mr. and Mr. Wormwood. I don't think they were very kind to me. But anyways, this all began when they arrived at the adoption center. They wasn't really pleased to meet anyone. I'm very sure they weren't very pleased to meet anything. So yeah, let's all start from the beginning. Way, way back. So yeah, the, the taker was yabbering orders. And they arrived. First, a very tall, skinny lady. I wouldn't recommend her for a beauty pageant, even though she takes very expensive spas. And then there came a fat, short man. His name was Mr. Walmart. I think the meanest in this family. And then my so-called brother. He's an idiot. Hoo <laughs> Shiny. Okay, so yeah, this all begins. How may I help you? You are looking for a cat, a young cat. I say about lower than five or three. You have two options. You can adopt Rosa or Sarah. They will be pleased to be adopted. Well, just show them in already. Quit talking. Oh, okay. Okay, this is Rosa. Hi. She's, I say, one and a half. Hmm, like the flowers. Um, they're not tattoos, so I was just born with them. She's a, she's a little bigger than I thought. Well, here's your other option. This is Sarah. She's born with red fur in between her ears and this little tuft on her head. And how old is she? She's one. She's a lot. You know, smarter than the average age, I should say. Hmm, she's the right size. We'll take her. Here's the money. Now come on, get in. A sister, come on. Mm. Careful with her. Uh. So then, yeah, I, I don't think I would rather appreciate my home very much. Dun dun dun. People think it's a nice relaxing home, but I call it a torture chamber of beef yelling, screaming, and potential death. Unlikely. So yeah, you can probably have a story you got left in the car and stuff. But that was just a backup. I mean, who leaves judging in the car? Whoops, my brother farted. So, yeah. That's just me. After the car.